I never know how to really start videos like this because it's a touchy subject and I've always have said this when an artist or anyone who's an entertainer does pass away it's unfortunate to always talk about loss especially when it comes to certain actors or entertainers they seem like good people and it always seems like the good ones go so this is definitely one of those losses unfortunately it's kind of hard to really say this but yeah if y'all didn't know until now chadwick boseman the star of black panther marvel's black panther that came out two years ago passed away he was fighting a battle with leukemia it was posted on all of his social media that he was fighting it for years it was kept secret he was surrounded by his friends and family he was surrounded by loved ones which is always the probably the best way to i don't really want to say the best way to go out but it's all that's definitely a silver lining in all of this and yeah this this is hella sad because I really was a fan of Chadwick, like for real. I knew, really knew about him when he did that Jackie Robinson movie, 42. Loved him as James Brown in Get On Up. Loved him even more in Black Panther and all of his roles. More importantly, this year he was in that Netflix movie, The Five Bloods. Loved him in that, even though he wasn't in it that long, but still. At 43, he really did leave a huge legacy. He had so much more to do, of course, because to a lot of young people, especially people in my generation, when we think 43, like right now, when we hear 43, we think that's old. But to really d dumb it down, 43 is a really, really young age. He didn't live to be 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. He had so much more to go and it's just sad that he unfortunately did not win that battle with leukemia and so many millions don't and that's also a sad thing. It is kind of a reminder too for me that I need to always keep in touch with my loved ones, like the ones who truly do care for like my well-being and I care for theirs and vice versa. It's, you know, just unfortunate. I think more importantly too, because I know there's probably people out there that are like, Oh, what about Black Panther? What about this and that? It's kind of one of those things where it's like, relax. I'm sure Marvel sometime in the future will figure out a plan with that. I really don't think they expected their lead actor for that movie to be gone and taken from us. Sometimes you have to prepare for things like that, unfortunately. Not the same scenario, but it's kind of like when Paul Walker was taken from us. And it was like, what about those Fast Furious movies? They were able to find a way to keep making those. And it's still something that shouldn't be even the concern right now. What should be a concern is just praying for Chadwick Boseman's family and friends and those who really knew him and loved him. Sad to really think because I remember being so excited to go see Black Panther and to see him on that big screen being T'Challa. I mean, of course, I saw him in Civil War, don't get me wrong, but it was different when he was in Black Panther. It really felt like a moment, and I feel like not just for people, but for Black Americans, Black people especially, like that was a moment to enjoy, and celebrate, and have fun, and definitely loved the, all the energy that Chadwick had in the movie, off the screen, just constantly having that sense of optimism. Because since he has been fighting this battle for so long, I don't think anyone really knew or could tell. That's something to really applaud for Chadwick because he could have been handling it so much differently than others, but he handled it the best way. Like I said before, couldn't tell. All in all, RIP to Chadwick Boseman. Thank you for the memories from being in your movies to your acting. I know Howard University will definitely be proud that you were alumni from there. And yeah, that's pretty much all I can say. Well, loss. And above all, RIP. Thank you.